So Nvidia has posted a teaser of its next generation Ampere GPU powered DGX A100 system, which is expected to be announced at GTC 2020 on the 14th of May this year. Well, in just a few days now. The first references to the system were spotted just a week ago, but it looks like we're definitely getting some major high power computing announcement from Nvidia this week. The specific name for the DGX system is DGX A100, which is a lot to say. The DGX system is solely designed for the deep learning and high power computing community, offering supercomputing capabilities from inside a workstation form factor. Now, Nvidia has released DGX solutions based on its Pascal and Volta GPUs, but with the release of Ampere GPU Eminent, a new DGX solution has to be designed. So in this teaser video, Nvidia CEO Jensen Wang can be seen taking out a huge DGX A100 motherboard fresh out of the oven. The video titled, What's Jensen Been Cooking? is followed by the description, the world's largest graphics card, fresh out of the oven. The Volta line of DGX systems was streamlined to offer more options to HPC users. We saw several variants ranging from the DGX Station, which featured a total of four Tesla V100 GPUs, all the way up to the 16 Tesla V100 housing DGX2 monster, which Nvidia termed the world's largest GPU. With the Ampere GPU, Nvidia would be releasing its latest DGX A100 system. The name makes it clear that the system would be based on a GA100 GPU. The GA100 GPU would be the biggest chip in the Ampere lineup and would definitely feature one of the flagship 128SM configurations that we're expected to see in Nvidia's GA100 chip. The specific DGX A100 motherboard that Jensen just cooked features a total of eight Ampere GPUs and are outfitted with a massive heatsink on each one. Do note the DGX A100 systems were designed for server and high power computing environments and are, well, passively cooled thanks to really big fans. There are six heat sinks adjacent to the GPUs which might feature interconnect switches for GPU to GPU and GPU to CPU communications. There's much to be revealed, so I'd suggest you wait two more days for Jensen to reveal the goodies himself. Now, Nvidia may start off its Ampere line of DGX systems in a more traditional manner, offering eight Tesla GPU configurations in the beginning and moving to the larger and denser parts later as the yields get better on the new Ampere chips. Nvidia's Ampere GPUs are definitely going to shake things up in the HPC market with several variants already leaked and performance being rated at around 30 teraflops of FP32 compute performance. We'll keep you updated with more as info becomes available prior to the 14th of May when Nvidia will be presenting its next generation GPU lineup. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.